Okay, so I tried to do this video a little bit ago, and for some reason my phone stopped it and deleted the video. I don't know why. Evidently it's going to be a piece of junk like my last phone. But, basically what the last video was going to be is me painting a couple homemade top oilers. Well, all of a sudden my phone turned itself off. Well, here's one of them I painted. It's a homemade lure made out of poplar wood dial rods and I got this is going to be like a weedless one it's got a single bluegill hook and some feathers out of a feather pillow I painted it gray to hopefully imitate a mouse so there's that and then this one here this is a homemade top earlier that I've caught quite a few bass on it's black and white but in the middle of painting it my phone decided to turn itself off so well my phone didn't turn itself off my camera did so I don't know why it did that but I don't know it probably has some sort of a reason it's a new phone I'm kind of trying to learn it and do videos at the same time But one of my favorite topwater lures for pond fishing used to be a black and white topwater torpedo. And it's the lure that I caught my very first bass on. With a lure anyway. I've caught some with night crawlers and stuff. But it was the very first lure I ever used was a black and white topwater torpedo. Well, then when I got really into bass fishing, back when I first started bass fishing when I only had like two rods. One of them was one of my dad's old bluegill rods and the other one was a pole I bought for 10 bucks at Walmart, a little Zebco rod, which I still have that. It's actually my new frog rod. <laughs> so anyway, back when I had them two little rods fishing, uh, back then I, I literally only used topwater. I never even bought no worms or nothing. I bought uh, topwater baits. I bought some jitterbugs, some uh, Hooli poppers, some uh, rebel poppars, and then they had that one uh, head and tiny torpedo that was black and white. Well, when I got into popper fishing, I loved using a popper because it was slow, it moved slower, the bass could hit it easier than just reeling it in real fast like you would with a t uh, with a uh, top or torpedo. Well, when I figured out how to I uh, use a popper real well. I like using it more than the top board torpedo. So I started using it a lot more. And I used to catch quite a few fish on it. One of my biggest fish I ever caught, it was actually a P personal best, PB, whatever you want to call it, for it held over a year, close to three pounds. Well, then when I figured out, I caught that on black and white top board torpedo. Well, I've caught some a lot bigger fish than that. Heck, now I think my average is about that size, but that was back when I first started fishing. And then I thought, well, since I like both of these, why don't I make one that is the same color but a popper? And this here is the first lure I ever made. It was the first uh, topwater lure I ever made. And it's black and white, black with white stripes on it. And I've caught probably 10 fish on it. But the reason why I ain't fished with it since then, which that was last summer when I caught them fish, is the paint got worn off and I was just too busy to, re to repaint it. Well, right now I'm going to repaint it, as you see I'm doing right now. And I'm going to try to catch a fish tomorrow with it. And with the other, with that little mouse lure. Don't know if it's going to work. I hope it does. If it does, it's going to be pretty cool. But I hope you guys like that little story. I just always thought, you know, I like using a popper. I like using that black and white top or torpedo. Why don't I combine them? And that's what I did. I got two eagle claw hooks. See, back when I first started fishing with it, I didn't have this hook. There was nothing there except for an eyelet. And that made it really weedless, believe it or not. I could cast it up next to some of that, uh, what I call thin grass. And I could fish it through there and catch bass all day. You know, I used to, uh, believe it or not, how I caught my first bass on it 
was I put it on, see I use snap swivels. A lot of people don't, but I do. Mainly because I don't have time to retie lures. Well, when I figured out how to use them snap swivels and stuff, I used to take them off. I mean, I was changing lures literally. You can ask my mom. She's, she usually makes fun of me for how many times I change a lure. Trying to figure out what them bass are eating. Jigs or I'll change from a topwater torpedo to a jig to a to a frog. Which frogs I have my own rod for. But I changed from topwater to jigs to spinnerbaits to uh, swim baits. All these things I would change real quick. Like I would make three casts with lure. If I don't catch or if I don't have a bite and then three casts I change it. Well... I hadn't done any fishing. I had this one rod rigged up. I, I'm pretty sure I had a white uh, Zoom Super Fluke, Super Swimming Fluke, I should say, on there. And I changed it to that black white popper. It was the first lure I ever made. I put that on there, made a cast about maybe, I'd say about 10, 15 yards, just to see if there was any fish close before I start making longer casts. Well, I went pop, 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 paused it. Popped it one more time, and just a little like that right there. I don't, I don't know if that even made any sense. Kind of just the water kind of swirled a little bit around that bait, and then I looked, and the popper was gone. And I set the hook, and I caught that fish. And believe it or not, it took almost five minutes to catch that fish because as soon as I set the hook, that fish ran straight into the grass. And of course, me back then, not knowing really what line I should have been using. I was using 10 pound Berkeley trialing line and that line held up. It didn't have no nicks in it or anything. It had no cuts or nothing. And that thing went right in the grass. And I sat there and I let some line out and let him just sit. He sat there forever, it seemed like. He finally swam out and I fought him and I caught him. He was like a two and a half pounder. First fish I ever caught on that popper and it was literally the first cast that lure had ever made. So that's pretty cool. And I then that rest of that day I caught like five or six and then the next time we went fishing at that same pond went to that same little area made a couple casts and caught like five or six more so it was I'd say between 12 to 10 fish I caught on this thing I didn't ever counted now I usually count how many fish I catch I don't know why I didn't used to but that's a pretty cool story about it you know but that's what I'm going to do with that I repainted it just now, but this I painted in my last video, which got deleted. And I can't unpaint it and repaint it for this video, so I figured I'd just show it to you guys. It's got a little feather, got a single bluegill hook. See, I make all of these out of dial rods made out of poplar. Well, I took a drill and drilled this part up about maybe that much of it. And about up to here. And then I stuck this long shank bluegill hook up there and glued it and then glued two white feathers out of a feather pillow in it to make it look like it's got like a tail like them pop bars do so it's weedless but it's not like a frog that you can just toss in the middle of a pad or nothing like that but I'm going to try to catch them two fish I'm also going to do a challenge with that ice rod um, I got three baits I got a frog colored chatter bait I got a senko and a, a fluke that I'm going to try to catch three fish on those three baits with that ice rod. I don't know if it's going to work. Then I also got another little challenge that I'm going to try to do and catch a fish on a buzz bait, which I've never done. I changed that. I See, I bought a buzz bait a long time ago, back when I first started bass fishing, just to buy it. Well, I never fished with it because I didn't like it. See, I only use spinning rods, like I've said before, and I can't use those. So when I reel it, it doesn't really work. But I took a, the skirt off, put a, I put a buzz toad on there, Hopefully I can catch a fish on it. I don't know. But I'm going to go to the pond tomorrow, hopefully, if it ain't raining. I'm definitely going to post this video in the morning. So I hope you guys like this video. Thanks for watching. Let me uh, get this camera so I can turn it off. And I'll show you real quick the uh, lure, the mouse lure, a little bit better view. There's the, uh, see there's paint on my thumb. There's the feather. It's painted gray. And then this one here. Just a black and white pop bar. Thanks for watching.